Hey everybody, I am here to give a special shout out and thank you to Olivia. She bought me these awesome, awesome shoes for my birthday and it made me think about something. When I was a kid growing up, we had a piece of art in our house, a sh an image of a shoreline with footprints in the sand and then the short little story about footprints in the sand. I'm sure you all have heard of it. Um, I'm not super religious, but very spiritual, but when I got this gift, um, it, it triggered my memory of that piece of art in our house. The story of Footprints in the Sand is about basically how your faith carries you through the difficult times. And this gift of my beautiful shoes uh, reminded me of that because when Olivia gave me the shoes, she said to me, you're going to need these for these last two months of your campaign. Um, I'm with you. I support you. I got you. Communities got you. What she didn't know was that the same exact thing happened in my first election. Anna, if you're out there, you gave me my pink, sho my pink shoes in 2019 to w knock the doors and run that campaign and make sure that I wasn't alone and that I knew I was carried and that community was holding me. And so to have that happen twice, two, two elections in a row, two campaigns in a row, um, at a time where I would say I'm definitely feeling a little bit stressed, a little bit overwhelmed, um, it was a reminder to me. And that imagery of footprints in the sand came up for a reason. And the reason is because when I say I'm not religious um, in the typical sense and that I'm spiritual, it's because I believe there's a piece of God in all of us. We are God. And loving each other and taking care of each other is my religion. And so in the last two months of this campaign, four years plus many, many, many more years before council and running for office, I have believed in you. I've believed in my community. I've fought for my community. I've done my very best to make sure that I carried you and folks around us whenever I could. Um, and so in these last two months, that reminder is really for me to know that our relationship with each other is reciprocal. And in these two months, I need to lean on my community. I need to have faith in my community, faith in the work that we've done, faith in the people that we have centered in all that we do, and just know that you all will carry me, you all will carry us through this campaign, through all the lies, through all the propaganda, through all of the villainizing. Um, we know that what we've fought for is just, we know that what we've fought for is the right thing to fight for. And so I'm leaning on you all to get me through these next few weeks to get us through across that finish line so that we can have an opportunity, a real opportunity to fight for something different in this city, to fight for a city that loves its people, that takes care of its people, that centers the most marginalized and builds policy to lift us all up. That's what I want and I know that's what you want. And so I'm coming here, of course, uh, with an ask. I need your help. Our whole goal is to talk to more people in our community and get more people in our community to restore their faith in government and vote. Make sure they turn out before June 6th. And in order to do that, we need to call them. We need to knock on their doors. We need to text them. And we need to reach them in all of the ways, including mail, and that's not cheap. So I need your help um, through donations. I need your help signing up to knock doors. I need your help to text and to do phone calls with us. Um, whatever it takes, we're going to make sure that our community has a voice. And I have faith in you to do that. I have faith that you all are carrying me through um, as I will continue to carry you all through once we, once we get through.